Rebecca Rand, and I'm reviewing the Rodeme Mop Vac today. This is the first in the whole entire world of its kind. Let me tell you why. It's the full featured Rodeme Eva. It'll start off vacuuming, but it's the world's first auto mop washing and self emptying robot vacuum and mop. Let me explain how it did all this. My kitchen floor had such a mess on it, it had some coffee grains. Oh my goodness, there were cracker crumbs and then some very fine flour. All of that had made such a mess. And so the Road Me Eva took over and vacuumed all of that. It's fascinating to see how it works and to see it get down and get all that stuff. Grind some coffee, those are kind of thick and gritty, all the way down to the cracker crumbs, which again, some are gonna be very thick but some again are really fine and that flour. Now you'd think when he was getting that flour and throw all that flour up in the air and just make your air dirty if that was dust, but it doesn't. It has a 3200 PA beefy suction to it and that's gonna suck it up and not spread it around more. It has a dynamic little side brush and that's what's scooping that stuff up. The side brush brushes the debris into the vacuum and this vacuum is smart. It knows how to adjust to get to the level of your floor. Now this is a flat surface floor, so it's going down low to get all these things. It's a smart vacuum. It'll dock itself, and then it empties all the debris into its vacuum bag. It's self-emptying. The compartments inside the docking station have the vacuum bag, and that's where the debris goes. And when you want it to mop, you put the mopping pads on, then it knows it's set up for mopping. And it'll do an auto mop washing. You simply fill up one of the four liter tanks. There are two. One is for the fresh water and the other one is for when the dirty water gets in it, it is discharged into the other gray tank. I fill up my clean water to the max and let it do its mopping. The mop washing is so terrific. It got the entire floor. It doesn't leave any residue and it also has a hot drying feature. So as it finishes mopping an area, the back of it will dry the floor and that puts extra heat on your floor, which kills bacteria. My floor was very dirty. It did an amazing job. And when my mopping pads are too dirty to mop, the robot vacuum will go docking back home and they will wash them. Can you imagine that? What a feature. The Rodeme Eva knows when to wash its own mopping pads so you don't have to. And while it's docking, it also cleans that water tank and puts it into the wastewater separation. And that gets 99% of the bacteria out of it because it's a water and wastewater separation. That's just amazing. And I didn't even have to use soap. Oftentimes soap will leave a sticky film on my floor. You don't have to do that because all the heat element is right in here and all that clean water. It's an amazing technology never before. And after I do my kitchen, of course, every night I want to do under my dining table because that gets so much stuff. There are a lot of chairs underneath my dining table and that was a lot of work to have to remove all those chairs and sweep underneath or vacuum underneath. The Roid Me Eva robot vacuum knows to go in between all those chairs. That's amazing. It doesn't get stuck. It keeps going. It has a lot of will to find the dirt in my house. It's amazing. There's no damage that is happening to those chairs because of the vacuuming and the back and forth action. It's got little rubber bumpers around the whole bottom. Oh, and that family room. The kids love popcorn. This hangout area used to be a no popcorn zone because popcorn always makes a mess. But with the Roid Me Eva, have at it kids because it's gonna find that popcorn and take it away. And this robot vacuum got around the furniture in order to find all that popcorn. It's like a paramecium. It seeks and searches. It finds where it needs to go. And if something doesn't go right because it's going to bump up against something, it just finds another way around. And if I just let it go, eventually it finds its way to a bedroom. And in that bedroom, it will clean that too. The Roid Me Eva is on a search and seek mission and it finds its way into all kinds of rooms in your house so that it will clean the whole house with one charge. And one of my rooms has a hospitality center because it's my guest room and I want guests to be able to have their coffee when they want to or their matcha tea. So if a tea bag busts open or there's that fine green matcha powder, Roy Me Eva goes after it and gets it. And that dust does not go flying all over the room. It is sucked up 
in a very efficient manner into the vacuum bag. And the size of the Rodeme Evo makes it so it can go underneath beds very easily and find your dust bunnies. And there was a whole lot of dust bunnies under this bed. Before I'd have to bend over with a broom to get under there, which was so difficult, what a hassle that was. The Rodeme Evo does it all for me. And it also finds its way under the nightstand. And that nightstand is barely off the floor. And that had black widows and all kinds of crazy spiders and spider webs. And the Roid Me vacuum sucks up all those spider webs. That is no kind of place a spider wants to be after it's met the Roid Me Eva. It has such a dynamic side brush with great speed control. It runs at 180 RPM high rotation speed for the motor. And it has a 12 in pressure against the floor. And that's talking about the force area onto the floor. And the 12 in pressure tells you it's getting really close to the floor with pressure against the floor. And that's great for vacuuming and the mopping. 3200 PA pressure, which is 3200 Pascal. It's a converter of weights and measures and speaks to the vacuum pressure of the great beefy suction power. And vacuum pressure is a pressure opposite of atmospheric pressure because it's suctioning the air. And vacuum is defined as air pressure below atmospheric pressure. When you have heavy things like bird seed that I throw on the floor, you need the high vacuum pressure, that 3,200 PA Pascal, to pick up heavy things like bird seed. I scattered so much of that all over my kitchen floor. The Roid Me Eva had a big job to do, but stuck with it and cleaned that floor. And let me show you, this is a bathroom I have. It has straight line cleaning, it goes along the wall, it has a corner sensor, and it automatically slows down to avoid obstacles or falling off the different platforms like a stair. There's a step up to that bathroom and it did not fall over the edge. It's using a fourth generation LDS laser navigation radar as it's advancing the sensing and the scanning of figuring out where to go in that little tiny bathroom that's so small. I had toothpaste on that floor. It got the toothpaste very easily. And that's sticky. When it was mopping, it got it on the first time. I love that it can mop the bathroom with the clean water and the heat to kill the germs. And all of that dirtiness just goes into that wastewater tank. And you can have a customized cleaning, you can name different rooms, you can set up no-go zones, and you can define areas in a room. And this is what it looks like with the mapping feature right within it. And to get the Roid Me Eva app, all I did was go under the front cover. I scanned the QR code and up popped up the app, downloaded it, set up my account, which is free. And that is cool because now I can control my vacuum from my phone and tell it to get to work. That app has amazing features, including the mapping feature. And the no-go zones. This Roid Me Eva is unbelievably intelligent. I can't believe there are features like this now. You can set up your Roid Me Eva anywhere that's convenient for you. I have a two-story house, so I have one on each of the stories. So there's a couple of them. And I put them in a couple rooms just for demonstration. And on top of those Roid Me's is a wonderful LED color screen and displays real-time status of what the Roid Me Eva is doing. It'll even talk to you. Start localized cleaning. But cleaning is in progress. All those statuses are mopping pads, washing, turbo wind, quick drying, clean water shortage, a full wastewater tank, a full dust bag, a full battery, a low battery charging, all that kind of stuff. It'll tell you. And you can also see the status within the app of all those different things. It has a 5200 mAh large battery. And that gives it a runtime of over four hours. And that'll cover a house about 2,700 square feet. And that's even larger than my whole upstairs and downstairs of my five bedroom, three bath house. On one charge, that's amazing. The Roid Me Eva arrived right to my door in this big box. So here's from the top of the box looking down into the box. This is how I unpacked it. I took everything out of that box right there on my kitchen floor because I want you to see how well it's packed. I like they had packed it so well so there would be no damage during shipping. So after I unwrapped it all, I put it on my kitchen counter so you can see everything I got. It came with the main vacuum and all the accessories. There was a lot of accessories. It came with extra vacuum bags. Those are all the mopping heads it came with and all the side brushes it came with. Underneath the Roid Me Eva, let me show you what that looks like. It has very sturdy, big wheels. All terrain is what I'd call them. Another little wheel for all the steering of it in the front. That gives it the maneuverability. 
And the brush is in the center and it's a good seven and a half inches. And this is the filter and how it arrives clean. Let me show you what it looks like. I took it apart and there's that little HEPA filter on the side. That is so great because that's what keeps the dust from re-entering your house. They've thought of every feature. Now it's gonna suck up all the dirt through that and into the machine to empty it. You don't have to do that. It'll do it by itself into this vacuum bag. And here's me taking out the dirty vacuum bag after cleaning my whole house. I just take it out and the skin of this vacuum bag is very thick because it doesn't want any of that dust to escape. So here I am sniffing it. <laughs> the dirt and dust are staying right in there. I barely smelled a little bit of coffee. It was kind of funny. But the skin is so tight, it's not gonna let that dust escape. That vacuum bag is that much full after cleaning my whole house with all these demonstrations. It will last you about two months time for an average house with average mess. And when you're done, you just throw it away. And about every month, you need to clean your dust, dust box, box is removed. because it can get really dirty. Besides what it gets in the bag, this can get clogged. So now and again, we need to clean it. And that's where this tool comes in really handy. And on the filter as well. And they give you an extra HEPA filter. But for me, I'll use this for a few months. I'll just clean it with my little whisk brush like that. And everything snaps back in place. And a little wipe down and back in it goes. Dust box is reinstalled. <laughs> for next time. And once a month, it's good to clean the brush too. And it's so easy to clean. You just open up the compartment, you take out the brush, you have your little handy dandy tool to clean it out. And I use a paper towel to get the extra dust out. And this blade gets out the hair. So easy. It'll take me five minutes and don't be afraid to do this. So a simple maintenance is all you need to do. A quick damp paper towel finishes the job. Just snap your brush back in and on goes the housing. Back on. And don't forget to push your brush back in. You're gonna need it for next time. My part of the cleanup only took me five minutes. But the Rodney Eva spent four hours cleaning my whole house. That's a good deal for me. And the Rodney Eva plugs into any normal household outlet. So she can take a rest and recharge your batteries. Charging. Click the link below to get your Rodney Eva robot vacuum. She's wonderful, a great addition to my house. I hope she's one for your house too. I'm Rebecca Vran. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified of my next video. And let's keep making great recipes in life. And today's recipe is a recipe for a vacuum to mop house without any effort from you or me with Rodney Eva. Love it. <laughs> if you like this video, I have some others on house cleaning over here that make your life a lot easier.